Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Kongiku from Obora Moramasa, also known as Moramasa the Demon Blade. Uh, this is a Vanillaware video game, but the figure is made by Alter. So I'm going to go ahead and set her rotation on real fast so we can have a nice look at her. Where is it at? There it is. Yeah, a uh, really stunning figure. I recently did a video on the other girl, uh, was there, what was her name? Rizuha, something like that. Also from uh, Moramasa the Demon Blade. This one stands at about, I believe, about 9 inches. Like a little over 9 inches, actually. Uh, you'll see that she has a nice little base as well. Not one of the one not one of the standard like plastic bases. So I like that a lot. Her little lamp here actually uh, glows. Like if you put a battery in it, you'll turn on. Uh, I don't have a battery unfortunately right now, so I'll have to pick one up at some time. Uh, she's got a lot of little nice little folds in her clothing as well. Uh, so I think she's actually a one eight scale. So her being over nine inches is actually pretty big. I guess she's a pretty tall character in general. Uh, I spent about ninety dollars on her. I bought her from Ami Ami. She was brand new. Uh, she was just uh, on a special sale. Her and the other one, the uh, other character were from my previous video, and so I bought both of them together. It was pretty expensive, but overall, you know, it was pretty cheap considering they're both such tall, really detailed figures from Alter. Yeah, uh, she looks really great. <clears throat> okay, here's a nice little uh, clo close-up uh, pan-up shot of her. She looks really nice, uh, really pretty, really aesthetic, you might even say. We can have a nice little look at her from all the little angles. See if she has a good nice look at her from behind as well. So right here. The base makes it look like it's supposed to be put up against the wall. Um, I'm not sure if that was intended or what. I love her hair. Her hair is so pretty. It's her little foxtail. Her kimono has a nice little autumn design. It's all over the outfit. And the battery actually goes at the bottom here. And you twist it and it'll turn on. Um, it's like a blue light, I believe. Uh, hopefully I can get that battery in at some point. Maybe I'll post it on Instagram or something. This right here was a little uh, challenging to put on. This little lamp. because it, It's actually a little hook. It's easy to get into her hand. But getting it to hook here and for her to hold it properly is a, was a bit of a challenge. Um, yeah. Down at the bottom, you can see the little base here. Got some little stone steps, a little bit of grass here. Let's see. There we go. Some more of this stone right here. A little uh, patch of grass coming out. I love the the big sandals they wear for like, like kimotos and stuff. Super pretty, super cute. I love her, the design on her face. Um, you'll see her if you have never played the game. You'll see she has like <laughs> this little leaf coming down her head. Really cute, big old uh, fox ears. I've, I've, I've only played a little bit of the game. I unfortunately did not have the console when this game came out originally. Um, I was able to play just a little bit of it though. Hopefully it'll get re-released on PS4. I might have said that in my last video too. I'm seeing it again. Yeah, there's not really much else to talk about. It's a pretty simple figure. Uh, she stands straightforward, has a lot of really nice little designs, a lot of nice little folds in her clothing. Uh, just a really aesthetic figure. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this little showcase. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new, consider subscribing to help the channel out a lot. That's all I have for y'all today. You guys have a wonderful day. Catch you in the next one.